Well, just as Allison Williams can tell you about the great work being done at Horizons National, I can speak to the great work being done by our next group, the Girl Scouts of the USA. Hello again, everyone. I'm Susie Garob. As a former Brownie and a Girl Scout, yes, uh, I know firsthand what a positive impact the Girl Scouts had on my life. Founded more than 100 years ago, they are the largest leadership organization for girls in the world. And today's Girl Scouts are nothing like when I was a kid. As a matter of fact, they've been named one of the world's top 10 innovative companies. Joining us now is the president of the National Board of the Girl Scouts, Kathy Hopenka uh, Hannon. And also joining us is a recipient of the prestigious Girl Scout Gold Award, Tazim Merchant. And it's really great uh, to have both of you here with us. You know, Kathy, let me uh, begin with you. I know the Girl Scouts have changed a lot from the days uh, when I was a Girl Scout way back. Um, and I think a lot of people don't realize that the Girl Scouts are now very focused on developing a whole new generation of leaders. Uh, so tell us a little bit about the new Girl Scouts uh, and, you know, how it's evolved over all the years. Thanks, Susie. I think, you know, certainly, as you point out, I think Girl Scouts is probably the original girl power organization. And as you said, leading the, the, the leading organization for, uh, for development of girls as leaders. Um, I think over the 100 years, over 100 years, the values haven't really changed. And when you think about the complexity that's required in dealing with the issues of the future, we need to continue to evolve to be even that much more relevant from a programmatic standpoint. So we're still very focused on on uh, developing courageous girls, um, competent, um, compassionate girls. And I know uh, Tazim is going to talk about her award that demonstrates that, but really evolving to really address those issues of the future and what we're doing in the areas of STEM. Um, so we still do a lot. Science, technology, science, engineering, technology. and math, exactly. which you're doing right. a lot more to make girls interested in science and math. Absolutely. And we know for a fact that girls are very interested in that. We have a group here today that's working on robotics, and it's just absolutely terrific. So really been focused on really developing the girl for the future. So tell us some of the other things that they're learning besides, like, uh, the, the STEM stuff. Well, certainly our girls are very much focused on community. And, and really, we give our girls a voice and an opportunity to address a number of issues in their communities. So they're focusing on um, developing solutions to problems in their local schools. Um, a lot of the Gold Award that you'll hear about is focused just on that. But really having the opportunity to demonstrate their leadership and giving them a voice and solving problems mm -hmm. at a very early age. And that really helps them with their curiosity and remaining very focused on continuing their education. Well, we've been talking so much about the Gold Award. Kathy's been referring, and we see your pin that mm -hmm. you're wearing on your dress. Uh, tell us about what was the project that you did that you earned that award. So the Gold Award is sort of the third award you get uh, as a Girl Scout, and it's the final award. Essentially, my project was dealing with education, an issue I'm really, really passionate about. So essentially, it's a district-wide tutoring initiative started uh, at Locust Valley High School. And what we do is we provide after-school review and outside-of-school review to students that's free and personalized. So just really quickly to give a background on how I got this idea, I actually was a tutor myself, and my tutoree told me one day, OK, uh, I come to you because I don't really get personalized review as much uh, at extra help. So I wanted to, since my friends charged $40, $50, to be able to find that uh, or create that organization that would provide that free mm -hmm. review for people. So it was considered too expensive. So you came up with an alternative. And I mm -hmm. understand that you turned to the, the tutors are uh, kids who are National Honor Society. Yes things like that. And it's grown quite a bit. I mean, the numbers that I uh, looked at, you've got like 100 students now, and you've got 50 volunteers. So it's yes. really expanded. Yes, definitely. I think it's evolved over time. And one thing with the organization is that whenever you create something for the Gold Award, whether it's this sort of project, educational or uh, something else, you have to be able to understand that there are going to be obstacles and that or that organization is dynamic. Mm -hmm. It's constantly changing and you need to be able to address any issues that come up. So I tried to overcome some sort of obstacles that came in my way. And then eventually, because of our great management, we were able to reach that uh, level. Well, that's very impressive that you did this and so early on in, in, your, in your life. Um, but besides winning this top honor, I want to list for our audience some of the other accomplishments that you've done. You've worked on a, a research study of heart procedures at St. Francis Hospital. You were president of the Economics Club. 
co-editor of the school newspaper, and also you graduated as a salutatorian of your school. So you've done a lot. You have had a very <laughs> active high school years, truly incredible accomplishments. I'm sure there were a lot of reasons that you are so motivated and driven, but to what extent did Girl Scouts also drive your ideas and your ambitions? I think Girl Scouts really helped me from the time I was a DAISY member. I've been in Girl Scouts for 13 years and from reciting the Girl Scout promise, Girl Scout law, that sort of like instills ethics or values in you about honesty, kindness, generosity. When we're sewing uh, Valentine's Day pillows for the elderly, very fond experience I had, um, baking cookies for those at the Ronald McDonald House, all these things teach you interpersonal skills. Uh, instill a value of service. So those are sort of the things I think really Girl Scouts brought to me. And now I really want to have my wow. life be one of service uh, where I'm driving positive change in the world. So what about the other girls in your troop? Uh, mm -hmm. Are they learning these same kind of lessons? Yes, I think so. Uh, I think we all have a really strong community. Anytime I see them, I always want to give them a hug or something. <laughs> uh, we have a very, very strong connection. And uh, I know that the girls who did stay in the troop all the way to the end, uh, we've mm -hmm. all had really great experiences, service experiences, and ex uh, mm -hmm. really, I think Girl Scouts in general does I impact your character significantly. Kathy, what's your takeaway on amazing girls like Tazim and other girls in the Girl Scouts. Uh, do you hear a lot of these kinds of stories? I hear these stories everywhere I go, Susie, and it just, it really reassures me on how we need to continue to invest more in our girls, because investing in our girls is really investing in our future and the opportunities that they are provided, the skills, the competencies, the passion, it remains with them for the rest of their lives. And I understand there's a waiting list of 30,000 girls who are trying to get into the Girl Scouts. So that speaks to the success stories you're talking absolutely. about. Absolutely, absolutely. And so the more volunteers we get to help pay it forward is just going to be absolutely terrific. I mean, we know the results, right? We, we see 75% of yeah. our senators are, are female. Uh, five of our six governors are female. Um, it's just all of our secretaries of state uh, were um, oh, Girl Scouts. That's really um, good so to know. As a former Girl Scout, I'm very happy to hear yeah. of these success stories. Thank you both so much uh, for coming and talking to us. And uh, good luck to you now at, uh, as a freshman at uh, Northwestern and your studies, your pre-med studies. Good luck to you. Thank you so much.